In this second part of the course, we'll dive into research and how you can cut down the time you spend on this part of the task. Um, I feel like this is a pretty big one and it's quite easy to get sucked down the rabbit hole. So we'll use what we covered in the first video to approach this in a more targeted way. And I'm hoping that by the end of this, you'll feel confident about getting all the info you need in about five minutes or so. That might sound a bit dramatic, but hear me out. The main point I want to illustrate is that you should never research without a plan. Unplanned research is the fastest way to the never-ending rabbit hole of doom. Uh, so let's use those frameworks we talked about in the first video and use them to speed up the writing process. So we went through a standard AMP kind of structure, a key rule from fiction storytelling and the inverted pyramid from journalism. Three different approaches to writing. Um, and we can use them to look at three different approaches to research. But first of all, a quick question. How many paragraphs does your research need to inform? This is a bit of a trick question because you could use research information in uh, every paragraph or on the flip side, you might not need to research at all. But if you want to improve your writing speed, the key for me is focus. Try to write as much as you can without research so that you know where additional information is needed and, uh, and what you need more details on. Let's take a look at the PR structure again. We've got the opening blocks at the top and the closing three blocks at the bottom. Um, you don't really need to research anything for the summary because that fills itself out quite easily. And you don't need any major research for the quote or the general info or the about sections because most of the time that will be provided on the notes or the website and you can just get that very quickly. Um, it doesn't take long to find it out and write about it. So really you're only researching the topic to fill out the middle content between these three blocks. Uh, you might also be able to sprinkle in a fact or two or a stat into the opening couple of paragraphs to make it more relevant or newsworthy. But in the grand scheme of things, you don't need that much. Uh, with the PR building blocks filled out, those, those top three blocks and the bottom three blocks, that's already 240 words written without any research at all, really. Your more detailed research usually only impacts those last 160 words or so. Something I learned from James Patterson talking about his writing process is uh, when you're in the zone, it's important to just keep the flow going. So if there's something you don't know or a point where you think research will improve it, um, instead of stopping to research there and then, just write a filler note like a, like a triple X or a TBD, and then you can come back to it later. Here's an example press release uh, for a roofing company I did recently. And I knew nothing about uh, TPO roofing uh, going into this. Don't know what it is or what it does. But what I did here was that I made a start and I filled in some of those building blocks. And then I came back to it knowing more about what I needed to find out. Instead of just doing a big old half an hour session, just reading up everything to do with roofing, I could take a more targeted approach. Um, you can see here that the first couple of paragraphs are lacking key information but if you use the building block technique to fill out the rest of the PR and look we've got almost exactly 240 words of content here without any research then when you've spent a bit of time looking into the subject you can bring it to life with more targeted research what is TPO let's give some information tied to the news angle what benefits does it offer we can get that in there too so I started writing about this without any knowledge of what I was writing about but I was able to write it without spending a huge chunk of time finding out. And that's that's key, really. You don't need to be an expert in something to write about it. It's a bit like world building in a fantasy book. Authors often talk about the idea of the iceberg. Um, you only need to know what's above the surface. The rest of the iceberg is there, but you don't need to know about it in detail to write your story. And it's kind of the same with press releases. There are two different ways that I tend to research PRs. If it's a subject that requires more reading, um, I'll use what I call an information bin. If it's a subject that I know quite a lot about, or if it's one that doesn't require much research, like an Amazon product with plenty of information on the page, um, I'll use my kind of standard split screen writing process that I've mentioned before. Writing in split screen is a great way to maintain that flow. Um, because you can research and write at the same time. 
I like to have my PR open on the right hand side and the internet open on the left so I can look up notes or Google something quickly when it's time to use that information. An information bin on the other hand kind of does what it says on the tin. It's just a place where you can dump text or links or whatever it may be. Anything that you need to write the uh, press release can just get dumped. Um, there are a bunch of great writing apps that let you add notes in a separate bin area alongside the text you're writing. My favourite are Ulysses, Scrivener, and there's an app called Highland 2 as well which does this. You can also just use any old notes app or even bung it all into your Word document and keep it at the top of the page while you write the press release below it. Um, but with this technique during your research process, just copy anything relevant, paste it into your document, and if you want to take it a step further, you can highlight key bits here and there to make sure you don't forget to write about them. I've included another worksheet with this video. Um, so you can see examples of the different writing styles we talked about and how you can use them to research in slightly different ways or the questions that you can use tied to those writing styles and how they can inform your research. So take a look at those and then you can use them if you'd like to help you with a challenge that I'd like to do, the five minute challenge. Okay, so let's do this challenge. Um, I'll do it quickly now myself and I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch every second of it tick by. But uh, we're going to open an amp and set a timer for five minutes and then we'll see how much research we can do before the time runs out. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that you'll only ever be spending five minutes researching every press release you write, but I, I think you'll be surprised at just how much you can get down in a short space of time. And when you combine that with a more targeted writing approach, you can write a lot faster. So I'll do this now. And then if you like, you can do it um, in your own time as well and try it out for yourself. And there you have it. As you can see, we've got quite a lot here to be to be getting on with. And that only took five minutes. So give it a go yourself and, and see how you get on. <laughs>